Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. As you see from the title above, this is going to be the Scentsy November Scent and Warmer of the Month kit video, as well as a little haul. I decided to combine it. Even though there are a lot of bars here, there's not a lot of scents. So I just figured I would tack that on to the beginning of this video and then dive into the November scent and warmer of the month. But before we get into it, thank you guys so much for supporting my channel over the years. And there's so much in Scentsyland during this holiday time of year that it can feel super, super overwhelming with all of these different launches. But I really think with Scentsy, especially during the holidays, they really want to try to appeal to everybody. And you're really trying to find things that are different. So we have the Sensperations collection. We have the Warmer and the, of the Month kit. We have the Harvest collection. We have the Holiday collection. We have the new Christmas Cottage Sensperations collection, which I'm very excited about. There's just a lot of different things. And you do not have to feel compelled as a consultant or a customer to get everything. I personally like to try all the different scents, but I have found, and you'll see with my upcoming empties videos, there's fragrances that I really love and I wanna add them to my club. There's some, it's just okay. And there's some that I just plain don't like. So by the end of the holiday season, there's probably only going to be five or six fragrances that I want to lock into my club. There's so many great fragrances, don't get me wrong, but only about five or six that I truly want to take with me and make sure that I have throughout the year so I'm stocked up for the next holiday season, if that makes sense. And there's some of the scents in here that I placed in order for some bars because I just didn't have any of my stash for the holidays. And I feel like the holiday is important with these fragrances. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so I placed an order for some bars and a few extra goodies, but I do have my catalog here for the scent notes and the scent descriptions. So let's just dive right in. I picked up two bars of Fall Into Love, and this is the inspiration for this whole video. Oh my gosh, you guys. I have fallen into love with Fall Into Love. And I will talk about it in my empties video, but since I have two fresh bars here, I will share it now, and I am going to read the description from Sensi. It is on the website, but this fragrance, oh my gosh. At first when I smelled it, I was like, mm, yeah, this is okay. Sorry, I'm just pulling it up. I'm like, yeah, this is just okay. Like, I'm not super impressed with it on cold, but whenever I melted this, it bloomed and blossomed in my bedroom. So the notes read, fresh orange peel and cool eucalyptus embrace sweet balsam. All notes that I never really would imagine together. Like they're all fragrance notes that don't do anything for me on cold or in notes in general, but the combination of that fresh, cool eucalyptus, that balsam tree and that orange peel it just smells like you open the windows on a crisp fall day and all of nature is coming into your house. It's stunning. And it went for days and days and days in my bedroom. So I picked up two because I want to melt it in my dining room, kitchen, living room area. It typically takes me two full bars to distribute through that whole space. So I picked these up because I need to try it. And if it does well. I'll add two bars into my club. If it doesn't perform as well here, I will just add one bar into my club for my bedroom because I love it. And I loved it so much, I actually picked it up in the Scentsy Fresh as well, which is an odor eliminating fabric spray. So I use this to like spray my couches. I use this to spray my bed after I make my bed. And it's been beautiful. I've already started to use this. Really love the Scentsy Fresh. And I had to pick it up in the laundry line. So this actually is my, I really like this system. It's $40 and you get the laundry liquid, which if you've never used our Scentsy laundry, I'll be honest, I don't think the laundry liquid adds a ton of scent to your clothes. The washer whiffs, however, if I am doing like a medium to large load, I'll use one really big scoop. 
to my laundry. And I've noticed like so far I've washed my bedding and I've washed my um, towels and like my robe and things. And it actually performs really well, this guy. So I actually have another set of this in my cart because I really like the fragrance. For a medium load, I do two pumps. For a large load, I do three pumps. So this actually lasts a good long time. And then with these, they typically sell large sizes of the washer whiffs, but for the limited edition fragrances, they have two of the 16 ounces, which equals 32 ounces, which if I'm not mistaken, it's actually bigger than the washer whiff container, because I think the regular washer whiff container is 30 ounces. Don't quote me, but either way, really like this. I find that the dryer discs are pretty useless that we sell. They don't really add any scent to your clothes and they're just more agitation. I already have the wool dryer balls in my dryer and sometimes they get caught in like blankets and sweatshirts. So just to add another layer of like trying to find those dryer discs, I don't really find that they add scent to the room or to the clothes. So I will stick to these and I definitely wanna get some more of the wash whisk. Love fall into love. And another one that I don't think I've shared in my empties yet, it's in my next bin, Frosted Cedar. This is another one that like blew up in my bedroom that I had to have. And this is part of the new releases for the catalog. So you can get this for the next six months. The notes read, Red Delicious Apple adores towering white cedar and a blanket of creamy vanilla. Let me tell you, I love this. This is another one. It's fine on cold, but when you melt this, it just blossoms into this beautiful, creamy vanilla apple with the slightest hint of cedar wood, which to me makes it the perfect bedroom scent. It's just like you have like a cedar chest or cedar lined drawers or, you know, a fresh wood uh, bed set, like um, bed frame. It's beautiful. I love this. It went for days in my bedroom too. So really like the frosted cedar. This is going in my club for sure. I can't get enough. And then as far as fall goes, I could not believe that I didn't have any autumn road trip in my sash. And I was like, where's autumn road trip? It's not fall without autumn road trip. So I added two bars to this order. And if you've never tried autumn road trip, it's under the fruity category in the in the catalog. Take a tour through crisp harvest apple, just picked Anjou pear, and a forest of towering silver oak. It's such a pretty scent. It's closest to like, it's like if autumn and sweater weather from Bath and Butterworks had a baby, you get this beautiful apple and pear together, which just makes like a very crisp fruity fragrance. And that oak, like that silver oak, just adds that crisp freshness, like outdoor air. This is like a more fruity version of like Fall Into Love or Frosted Cedar. If you like those like crisp fall outdoorsy fragrances, but you want a little bit more fruit to them, Autumn Road Trip is great. This is also, if you're into fall scents, but you don't like spice or pumpkin, but you want a fall fragrance, Autumn Road Trip is definitely the way to go. And then I picked up five holiday fragrances that are staples for me. This had a very interesting life, Snowberry. This is a fragrance that actually left the catalog, wasn't voted like in a Bring Back My Bar or anything, and then came back after having a one catalog hiatus. It was really interesting. And let me tell you, I missed my Snowberry. This is also in the fruity category. Luscious blend of Loganberry, Strawberry, Peppermint, and Zesty Cinnamon. This is so great. This is a very hard to describe fragrance. I'm not really sure what Loganberry is, but this just smells like a Christmas jam. Like if you walked into a boutique that's like a holiday boutique and they're serving like, like they have jams for sale and it's like a holiday berry jam or jelly, that's kind of the vibe that this gives me. Just like a very festive, fruity crisp winter blend. I love this. This always performs great for me. The car bar in this like blows up whenever I have it in my car, which was like, oh my God, I don't have any bars of that. And I don't want to be without it this holiday season. And it's a nice break from like those tree fragrances. Now, speaking of tree fragrances, my favorite scent from Scentsy for holiday time, if I'm looking for a tree 
very snowy spruce. And I would say the consensus is a lot of people like this because it's actually available this entire catalog season in a brick. So these bars are $6 a piece. For $24, you get a brick, which is five and a half, almost six times a bar. I have a pumpkin roll brick that I'm just loving. I am going to get a very snowy spruce brick in the time, but I just needed to have a bar right now because I was building six packs. This is great. This is sugary spruce. Just like the name says, spruce trees to me are my favorite type of tree scent in the winter because it just smells like a crisp tree, the outdoorsiness with a little hint of sweetness. So the notes on um, Very Snowy Spruce, this is categorized in the woods category. Breathe in fresh forest air, balsam, spruce, and cedar branches embrace the warmth of amber and woody pine cones. So we actually have cedar and balsam, which is also in Fall Into Love, but this is very different. You're definitely getting the, the cedar and the pine cone come through. It's like that real woodsy, warm, outdoors. This is beautiful, though. This is like you walk into somebody's home during the holidays, and you know they're burning a Christmas candle or melting a Christmas wax. But it's totally like that quintessential holiday tree candle fragrance, and I love it. And Scentsy knocks it out of the park with that one. Next, we have Polar Bear Hug. So I have two of these, and I always liked this fragrance. I believe this is in the fresh category. Fresh. Yep. Blackberry jam, caramelized brown sugar, vanilla, and amber in a softly romantic scent. And this is pretty. This is definitely sweet. I see where the blackberry comes into play, but it's, again, it's a very subtle blackberry. And I know some people feel like raspberry scents and wax can come off perfumey. I feel like the blackberry in this wax leans a little like perfumey or body care, but I don't hate it. It actually makes it really comforting and warm. It's just like a very warm, fresh, creamy vanilla with a hint of that ice cool air and blackberry. It's so pretty. This is a great company scent too. For You're not sure if they like spicy scents, if they like fruity scents. I think that's one that a lot of people will love. I picked up two bars of Arctic Kiss. This is another one that I really enjoy. Also in the fresh category, cool Arctic mint and fresh air embrace the warmth of fluffy vanilla clouds. Total vanilla, like total vanilla. But again, this is more of like a crisp, fresh vanilla. This is what I expected frosted vanilla to smell to give me. I do not care for frosty vanilla. That did come back in the catalog this year. That sweet vanilla bean, birch bark, and frosty air. And I really like the scent of birch bark, but wow, I mean, it was strong. This, though, is like this subtle vanilla where you can tell in the polar bear hug there is that fruity note in the background. This is pure, creamy Christmas vanilla. I don't really get any mint in there. If it is a mint scent, it's a very subtle, like, buttery mint fragrance, but not a butter mint candy, if that makes sense. Like, a very mellow down, very watered down mint scent with that vanilla. It's so pretty. It's really nice. This is a great bedroom scent for the holidays. And then last but not least, for just my regular holiday bar order, we have Silver Bells. This is one people were really nervous it wasn't going to come back this year. This, I think, is one of Scentsy's most unique holiday fragrances. And the notes read, Mint candy canes dance over warm and welcoming winter pear, all enveloped in a velvety blanket of caramel and vanilla sugar. This is so pretty. This is just pretty. You can get a little hint of mint from the candy cane, but you're totally hit with that crisp pear. I love. I absolutely love. This is so comforting and fresh. I really love fresh scents. I've definitely leaned more fresh and clean and woodsy than I have bakery lately. I don't know. I just, my nose has changed. My tastes have changed. And the heavy bakeries, like, don't do it for me as well as I like the freshes now. And this hits. That sweet pear, caramel and vanilla sugar, 
a little bit, but again, it kind of makes it smell a little bit more body care. Like I could see this as like a body wash. Like I think that would be a very pretty, like gourmet, gourmand, hair, candy cane, body wash. It's really pretty. So I've always loved Silver Bells. All of those are available currently in the Fall and Winter catalog, except for Fall into Love, which is part of the Harvest collection. All right, now let's dive into the first sniffs of the Sensepirations Christmas Cottage collection. This guy will be available starting November 13th. Yeah, November 13th on my website, or your consultant's website, you have to purchase the bundle. Can you buy them individually? Uh, you can add them to your Sensi Club individually, but you do have to purchase the kit together, which is $23. You actually get a scent circle, which is exciting, and four bars for $23. Okay, so what is Sensepirations? Now, Sensepirations came out last year during the holidays from Scentsy with a collection called Vanilla Bean Buttercream. So we took our classic Vanilla Bean Buttercream fragrance, we added a bar of that in a special Christmas packaging with three fragrances that have that Vanilla Bean Buttercream base. We had Vanilla Bean Buttercream, Gingerbread Buttercream, Caramel Buttercream, and candy cane buttercream. Candy cane buttercream took the Scentsy Land by storm and they added it to the catalog this year, which I can see why it was incredible. We then did a mango inspiration collection, which was from the Go Go Mango. There was mango shortcake, mango wildflower, and mango margarita. Same sort of concept, but this guy we did this year in Christmas Cottage. Christmas Cottage is another classic Scentsy fragrance. It's a classic quintessential holiday scent. It is available in a brick this year as well. We have Pumpkin Roll, Very Snowy Spruce, and Christmas Cottage in bricks. Totally recommend. But anyway, we took that fragrance and we added three flanker fragrances to it. Sort of like how perfumes do, like... Ariana Grande Cloud, and then there's like Cloud Intense, etc., where it's that base of the fragrance with some added notes. So really exciting. So we will start with the classic, which is Christmas Cottage. I love the packaging on the Sensepirations for the holidays. They stuck with the same one as last year. It has that little ornament on it. Super cute. And the notes on Christmas Cottage, a cozy, inviting blend of Valencia oranges, raspberries, cloves, and spices. Yeah, this is great. Now, this is, we have a scent called Sips of Cider, which is like a cider scent. And the blood orange is way too strong in there for me. It like has an odd scent to it. This, the Valencia orange, though, is beautiful. It's that sweet orange, that sweet raspberry, and then those cloves and those spices simmering on the stove. Where a very snowy spruce is that quintessential holiday tree fragrance. This is that quintessential holiday spiced fruit fragrance. This is what I picture. You walk into your grandma's house and this is like before candles were a thing or even like a lot of people would like simmer spices and fruits and stuff on the stove to fragrance their home and make it feel warm and comforting for the holidays. That's like what Christmas Cottage is. And I think that's why it is so popular with everyone because it is super nostalgic. So I really like Christmas Cottage, but I was very excited to see the extra fragrances that they added with it. So the first Sensepiration is Christmas Cottage Mint. Now, most others, like I've watched this is the one that I was really nervous about. Doesn't seem like something that's super up my alley. The notes read, Harvest Spice and Winter Mint mingle in the invigorating morning air. And yeah, this is very interesting. Now, I'm not really getting a ton of mint. I'm really just getting this light, it's almost like Christmas Cottage, just really mellowed down. I'm really having a hard time smelling this one, I'll be honest. It just smells like a spiced scent. It smells like they took Christmas Cottage and got rid of the raspberry and the clove and the orange and just left spices. I'm having a really hard time picking up on the mint. This is one I think we're going to have to melt to really see how it, how it blooms. But right now, 
It just smells like a spiced fragrance. So not the biggest fan of that one. Then we have Christmas Cottage Cider. Now this is the one I was most excited about. I love cider fragrances. And this says, brew some homey vibes with malt spices, cinnamon stick, and Valencia orange. So there's just like no raspberry to this essentially. Yeah, this, this is good. Um, I'm going to be honest though. I kind of just like my Christmas cottage so far. Like, again, this smells like they took things away from Christmas cottage, not enhanced them. Uh, yeah. So far, I'm definitely more fans of the sense, the, um, sense of the season collection launching November 1st than this one. It just doesn't smell great. It just smells like spice. Yeah. Hmm. I was very excited, but I'm not getting much. Interesting. Okay. And then last, we have Christmas Cottage Wreath. Now, let's see if this one's going to be good. Deck the halls with refreshing eucalyptus, spruce sprigs, and a sprinkle of crushed clove. All right. Let's see. Okay. I like this one. But again, they don't feel like they're really unique at all. They all feel like they're just a spiced scent. They don't feel like... I was expecting this to be like a really warm, almost like, like a Wassail Wonderland type of vibe. I was expecting to be like hit with mint and spice. And this one, I was expecting to get like that real cool eucalyptus and spruce. But I'm really not. I'm really just getting... Like a spice, just like a warm spice. That's really odd. Okay. Well, I'm not going to lie, right? Like, I purchased these with my own money. I'm not a fan. Honestly, I would skip the Sense of the Season collection, or the Sensepirations collection, and I'd just get a brick of this. Yeah, this is great. Like, this is great. Like, I get that bright raspberry and orange with the warm clove. Like, I'm getting those in here. Everything else I'm not. I'm not getting those extra notes. Okay. Well. Hey, you gotta be real, right? And then you get a Christmas Cottage Cider scent circle in the shape of a cottage. So, these are available on the 23rd. If you like spiced fragrances, definitely give this a try. Honestly, I was expecting a little more. So, but hey, these are just cool. Things change. That frosted cedar totally blew my mind. That fall into love totally blew my mind. Okay. You know what I do love, though? Because I already sniffed it because I couldn't wait. The scent that's launching November 1st. So... Scentsy does this amazing thing where they come up with a warmer and a scent of the month every single month. And it's limited for that month. It's 10% off. It does, if it's still around, if they did not sell out by the end of the month, it will be back for the full price starting the next month. So starting December 1st, these items will go back to full price. I don't know what I was more excited for, the warmer or the scent. So let's start with the scent. Mint to be merry. Now, as a consultant, one of the amazing perks of being a consultant is you get the kit early, so I can share it with you guys before November 1st. You get eight bars, you get 50 scent and warmer of the month flyers, and you get scent stickers and the warmer. But the scent, Mint to be merry, reads, Merry Mint fills the air when crushed candy canes and sparkling sugar Brighten up a creamy butter cookie. So the first thing, as soon as I saw this, was, is this going to be like peppermint sugar cookie from Bath & Body Works? It is. It is so good. I, like, this is holiday time. November 1st, I'm decorating my entire house for Christmas. And as soon as it's done, 
this is going in every warmer in my bedroom, in my office, dining room, living room, kitchen. I'm going to probably go through three bars, but I don't care. This is so good. If you like cookie fragrances, if you like rich bakery scents, and you feel like Scentsy isn't coming out with enough of them, this is it. This is like those slice and bake cookies. And then when they get out of the oven, you just sprinkle on a little bit of a crushed candy cane. Heaven. If you like candy cane fragrances, if you like cookie scents, this is it. I love the peppermint sugar cookie from Bath & Body Works because it has that fresh, crisp candy cane with that buttery cookie. And it's like that quintessential holiday fragrance that's not a tree or a spice. It's something different because your nose can get really used to those fragrances after a while. So when you have something different like the Mint to be Merry to change in your warmers, I love. Listen, and if this performs like I hope it does, it's totally going in my club. This is one that I want all of the time. A lot of people are comparing this to Sensi's Marshmallow Mint. I've never tried that scent, so I'm not sure. But I'm very familiar with the Bath & Body Works Peppermint Sugar Cookie. And if you like that, you're going to love this. Now, let's get into the warmer, you guys. Look at this warmer. It is called Merry Little Christmas. Retro charm shines bright for the holidays. Colored lights add a festive glow to this vintage-inspired warmer. So if you take a look. We have this beautiful multi-dimensional colored Christmas tree. And then, oh, would you look at that? It's a warmer. So you have your dish in the back, which has a number four, which means you can put up to four Scentsy cubes in here. And it's a hot plate warmer. Now you might be saying, well, so it doesn't light up, Drew. It's a Christmas tree. Oh, it does. I was watching a video with our CEO, and he actually said they were initially wanting this to be a bulb warmer, but with the bulb and the dish, the lights would not light up all the way to the top. So they opted for this design, which I really love because look, if you're just looking at it like this, it's totally just looks like one of those retro Christmas tree, vintage Christmas trees. And then, boop, boop, it's a warmer. I love. I think that is so fun, so festive, so cool. And I actually, in my dining room, I have two corner shelves and I want to put one, this warmer on the one shelf. And then in the other one, the tall snowman that I got this year, which is shaped the same way and is about the same height. So that way they sort of like have that same, you can't tell that they're warmers, but they're going to give this amazing glow. They're both lit with LED lights. And this is a 13 watt element and so is the snowman. So this baby is going to perform really great for you. So I'm very excited to see this all lit up in my display. Now, she's a pricey warmer. This guy is going to be $72 starting November 1st. So she's expensive, but totally worth it. I will insert a video with all the lights off of me turning this warmer on for the first time and seeing those lights glow. But definitely, if you love Christmas trees, this is one for you to pick up. I, I think it's stunning and it's going to look so good in my dining room for the holidays. So that was a little half an hour video. Uh, sorry that I didn't love the Christmas cottage as much as I thought I would. It is what it is. It's life, right? You don't love everything and you can't love everything, especially when you have a Scentsy Club that is full and you don't want to add more to it. So I'm perfectly fine with that. So as always, thank you so much for watching. If you don't have a Scentsy person, I'd love to be your Scentsy consultant. I will leave my link down below. Feel free to shop down there and shoot me an email if you have any questions. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit that notification bell. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. I love you guys so much. Bye, guys.